Nepal, nestled in the mighty Himalayas, is rich in water resources. Its rivers annually discharge 225 billion cubic meters of water, vital for drinking and crop irrigation in Nepal and beyond. Major rivers emerge from the snow fields and glaciers, cascade through gorges and valleys, and flow into the flatlands south of the mountains. Despite the abundance of water in Nepal's rivers, they remain an untapped opportunity, rather than a source of prosperity for the nation. Climate change is a severe threat to Nepal's water security. The country is facing both extreme abundance and critical shortages. There is an urgent need for rapid development of Nepal's water sector to meet the people's needs. The Asian Disaster Preparedness Center, ADPC, and the Regional Integrated Multi-Hazard Early Warning System, RIMES, with World Bank's support, are implementing a five-year project. The Climate Adaptation and Resilience or Care for South Asia project aims to enhance food and water security through climate resilience policies in agriculture, water management and transport infrastructure. As part of this project's intervention in Nepal, a series of studies were carried out which included assessing the water sector policies and guidelines of Nepal and identifying their gaps and needs for improvement. We also analyzed and understood the need for implementation of Integrated Water Resource Management or IWRM. IWRM is an established mechanism for resource allocation and trade-offs between competing uses and users. The system is well designed to handle shocks and inconsistencies in water availability during extended dry periods and extreme rainfall events. Another key focus area was water harvesting to strengthen the water security of Nepal. Water harvesting will help adapt to climate change impacts and build resilience of the water sector. Three studies examined more than 70 legal instruments such as policies, acts, rules, guidelines, treaties and bilateral agreements. And the policy environment was analyzed using the OECD water governance framework. The key findings illustrate that performance of the policies and institutional framework collectively needs strengthening in all three dimensions of water governance – effectiveness, efficiency, trust and engagement. The studies also showed progress in Nepal's water management efforts. The approved strategy and water plan have adopted Integrated Water Resource Management IWRM principles and have begun implementing them by drafting enabling legislation and adopting relevant policies. The water harvesting study highlights good practices in Nepal. It finds that Nepal has the technical expertise and supportive policies to implement water harvesting systems. However, investment remains low due to the need for a cross-sectoral approach. Water is the primary medium through which countries experience climate impacts. It is also the priority sector for building resilience in economies, livelihoods and ecosystems. A key result of our studies shows that we need to strengthen implementation of our policies to deliver expected outcomes. Effective water governance involving stakeholders, improving trust and engagements with enabling actions are crucial for better water source management. Sustained actions are needed in improving service delivery, setting up efficient institutions that foster collaboration and strengthening regulations, procedures and overall capacity building. We need clear political support to enact suitable laws and implement IWRN. Water harvesting, storage and intervention diversions are vital for addressing Nepal's water shortages and to improve water, food and energy securities. Climate resilient infrastructures are also necessary to safeguard investments and deliver returns. The traditional sectoral approach must be replaced with a more holistic and collaborative one. 
The current three-tiered federal structure provides opportunities to strengthen water governance in Nepal. The CARE project in Nepal presents concrete recommendations to achieve climate resilient water security. It outlines practical steps to empower the nation in harnessing this vital resource and nurture prosperity and well-being for its people.